hey what's going on guys welcome to this new episode on free internet tricks so if you're looking to configure http injector for free internet you've definitely run it on the right video so in today's video i'll be showing you how to create a working http injector config file that you can use for your country okay so without any further ado let's end this tutorial Okay, so before we even go any further, I would like to emphasize on the fact that this video is strictly for educational purposes only and neither we nor this channel is going to be held responsible for any misuse of its content. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is to update HTTP Injector to its latest version, okay? So to do this, you just go to your Play Store and search for HTTP Injector. just like so and then you make sure it is updated to its latest version okay so once you show it is updated you just want to click on this open button right here all right so this is how the app is going to show at the first time and a quick tour the first thing that you want to make sure you understand with this application is the two learning types okay the two learning methods all right so here we have a tunneling type SSH, one of the most popular, or let me see the most popular out there. And then we have V2Ray slash X-Ray. We have Hysteria, which is just which is a new tunneling type, and we have Shadow Socks. Okay. And now depending on the tunnel type you select, a connection form or a connection type here is going to be available depending on this tunnel type. Okay, so let's say we've selected the SSH, right? We can see that we can connect through the direct method to HTTP proxy, through TLS proxy, through external, and through DNS, right? And if we go to V2Ray, we'll see that we have just one option that's available here because V2Ray is being set up directly from the SSH account provider, okay? And then if we go to Hysteria, we'll see the same. Shadow socks, the same with a couple of with a few other options: SSH, external, HTTP injector, and and TLS slash SSL obfuscation. All right. So now let's say we select the tunnel type. I will walk you through each one step by step. Let's say we select SSH external. All right. And then what you want to make sure you take here is the direct connection. Okay, this is the most popular and probably the most stable connection type here all right and then make sure that you tick this custom payload right and then you click on save just like so all right now that you've selected your tunnel type it is time to generate your payload all right so to generate a payload just click on this payload generate button which is here just like so and in this payload generate button, if you are not familiar with a payload generator, you are going to be kind of confused. And hopefully for you, I got you back. I've provided a couple of payloads that you can just use in HTTP Injector. All you need to do is to modify the server name in the payload and then you enter the one that works well for you. And also, I provided a working host that you can get from the video description, so make sure you check that out. And then, once in this payload generation, this payload generator, you have a you have three principal options here you have normal you have split and you have direct okay so depending on the option i choose you see that a few injection methods are available all right and for here depending on the request method the injection method is going to be available just for a few of these options okay so let me say i take this direct we have the request method connect get post put head trace and all the other options okay but the two most popular options here we have connect and get okay you use this connect when you want to establish a direct connection to the server you're trying to inject okay and for this get method it is somehow a method that we use to get information from a server in which case data packages Alright, so this is the option that we typically use when generating payload. Okay, so you want to select this method and the payload generation, the payload here, make sure it is on direct. Alright, and then now for the URL host, you just enter a working host in your country. Okay, as earlier mentioned, 
you can get working hose from our SNI from our host generator okay I've provided a link to this one in the video description so make sure you check that out so what you want to enter is a working hose let's see I enter this one all right and then now the request method obviously is add get okay and then we have these other options right here okay you need to pay a close attention to the options i'm going to take because these ones are the most important and should always be ticked anytime you're creating an http injector config file all right so we come to this extra header right here just keep straight into it you make sure you take this online host this is what keeps your host active or attempts the connection the reconnection whenever the connection gets disconnected all right so we have this keep alive as well which plays the same role this one tends to keep your connection alive in case things don't go well okay in case there is a server problem or a server disconnection something related to the server all right and then we have this user agent which identifies your device to the connection all right this is what identifies a device in the connection and then these are the most three these are the three most important options you want to make sure are always checked anytime you're generating a payload okay for this front query you can tick it as well but you need to be sure the host supports the front query all right as for these other options here extra and dual connect you want to leave them as they are all right so once you're sure about your payload generator about your payload just click on this generate payload button all right now that you've generated your payload the next thing that you want to do is to create an ssh account okay so there are two ways to set up ssh in http injector you can set up your ssh account manually or you can use SCP injector pre-built servers okay so they are just a hand, there's just a handful of options for ssh servers out there i'll provide a link to the best ssh account providers out there that you can use to create ssh accounts okay so to make sure that your ssh account your ssh settings are up to date this is where you enter your host your port your username and the password okay so the ssh account provider is going to provide you all these four details which you just have to enter into the app all right now if you don't want to use the manual servers you just want to click on this hamburger icon and tap on the server tab here and then you'll be prompted to view an ad support HTTP injector just want to click on ok and you will see a list of the available servers right here okay pay and pay a close attention to the protocols or the tunnel type there support okay and you make sure you select the server depending on the tunnel type you selected earlier as you see egypt ssh dns france the same which obviously is what we have ssh is what we selected while creating our config so just click on the drop down to view the ad give it some time to play okay so view the ad and then the next thing you want to pay attention to is the latency okay so the latency the latency is rated at 100 percent and the higher the latency the slower your connection is going to be all right so make sure that you select a server with a low latency this one's latency is obviously high let's go to the french servers they are higher so where you can see the spotlight here they're indicating yellow which means they aren't the best okay so we keep on scrolling come to the german servers we see this one it requires an upgrade you can see the latency is low and its status is green so now we go to the next one okay we have the uk server this one isn't that green but it is better than the other options we've had earlier okay so just check it and make sure you click on connect and then for this remote proxy make sure you tick it if it's that you want the connection to support remote proxy or if your host supports proxy tunneling all right so it's typically when you activate the web socket option but i wouldn't do this in my case okay so i'll just take this secure shell here just like so 
and then if you say you want to take the remote proxy you have an option here to choose between 80 and 880 okay so i'll just leave this one as it is and then i click on save all right there we go you can see the server has been selected here i didn't use a manual server but if you really need to use a manual server which is what i would recommend you to do you can check the link in the video description to the best ssh account providers out there and the fastest you can have okay so once you're sure about everything you just click on the start button to get everything connected right so you get to do the same thing for each and every one of these methods right here if you have to select v2ray you just want to click on save and then you import a v2ray config all right you come to the v2ray options and then you make sure you import your v2ray settings here all right click on this paper tray icon and you just import you paste it here and then okay the same one goes for this other one okay you do the same and you paste for this hysteria right and then for dns tt which is the slowest of all these connections it is kind of a little bit resolving but you also need to import that one as well all right and then for shadow socks the same rule applies okay and then even if you select this let's let me highlight another option with the secure share let's say we select external all right and then you just click on save you can see external just requires a single host and you wouldn't need to set up a custom payload for this one so just click on save and then what you see here you will notice that the server we selected earlier supports ssl and ssh tunnel so this ssl is the s tunnel or sni tunnel and the ssh is the one we created earlier okay is the payload we generated earlier so this is actually a very good server because it select it supports a few or a couple of tunneling options okay so for this server name identification what you want to enter here if you just want to enter your working host okay let me see i enter this one okay this is a working sni host and this tns version make sure you leave it to default okay if you don't want to leave it to default you can also select the tls version 1.1 which is the most stable right and if you don't want to go through that you just want to leave it to default and then click on save now all you have to do is just click on the start button go to your lock and there we go we are connected okay so if i come to this lock here things don't always go well in every case okay so the first time that a connection is requested to the server from the server you can obviously get disconnected from the you can obviously get disconnected from the server or you can just lose the connection as you can see here in this premature connection close okay right here and you can see the host was the app started reconnecting immediately the connection was closed okay and then we had a handshake but is it got lost so what did the server do what did the host do is it got entered in reconnection mode okay and this time it went well you can see the ssl handshake was successful with the host key everything and then we got connected right so that's how you get to set up http injector for free internet okay this rule applies to any of the tunneling methods you select in the http injector mobile app okay it isn't complicated to use it's very easy and simple and if this is a little of hassle to you you can always contact us through our email that we've provided in our site okay so i will best help you and guide you on how you can use this app to safely connect to the internet all right okay guys thank you for watching if you found it actually helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell down below to not miss our upcoming video okay i'll be teaching you or i'll emphasize more on setting a connection through the sni tunnel mode in the injector okay so i catch you in the next video